Today I wanted to show you the second part of managing spam in Office 365 for Exchange Online accounts. Now, yesterday we talked about the spam filter. Today we're going to talk about the rules in the mail flow section. So in theory what this does, this allows you to tell Exchange how you want the message to be controlled when the email comes into your domain. Now as you can see this is loading at the moment but eventually what we'll show is that we can then add some rules here to say what do we want to do with the email. So at the moment it's got some default settings. It's got uh, messages for sending outside the organization which is your domain basically. You know, anything that's coming inside the organization and how you want it to be managed and depending on the, the person you can have uh, moderation and signatures the way that you want it to be set up and you can configure a disclaimer in the rules here as well. So let's just have a look at the scope from the outside of the organization. Now as this loads you can see what the rule is going here. So anything that's being sent to the scope outside of the organization the recipient is located outside of the organization. The message says any information regarding these particular words will be blocked. But if, but allow the sender to override with a business justification and send. So what this does is you can potentially override the message and allow it into the inbox but it depends on the user and they have to get approval from their manager as well. Now, if I was to do this, I am going to look, I'm going to create a new rule. So it gives me the option to tell me what I want to do. So I can do it by sender or by recipient where the sender or recipient is located inside or outside the organization, a member of a group, or the subject or body includes, or the sender's address includes. So if I do sender's address, I can then put particular domain names or email addresses in here. So if I put uh, domain.com and then add that, it would then add the thing in there. So anything from domain.com can be one of the following. Redirect the message, forward the message for approval, reject the message without explanation or with an explanation or append a disclaimer if I wanted to. Uh, if I wanted to include something else or an attachment, any particular types of executables like .exe, .bat, .pdf, it would then block the attachment as well. So if it was any of those, it would just block it completely. And I can then redirect the message somewhere else if I wanted to, delete the message, or do something else. These are just things that you can do with all sorts of stuff inside of Exchange Online. Which is great, because if you don't want certain things coming in, then you can reject them. If you want them in, then you can allow them too. That's all I wanted to show you today. Hope you enjoyed these tips. We'll be back tomorrow with another video. Thanks for watching.